Good morning. This is Kasturi De. Today I am going to discuss the uh, chapter Endocrine System in Humans. This is this chapter is according to ICC syllabus class eight. Okay. So uh, I am starting with the uh, first is the introduction of this chapter. What is endocrine system? Okay. So endocrine system is a system of ductless glands that regulate the activity of the cells and organs by releasing certain chemical messengers these chemical messengers are known as hormones which are released into the blood stream so what happens it this is this system is a system in which ductless glands are involved Okay, the glands which are involved, they are ductless, and they reg these uh, ductlet glands they regulate the activity of the cells and the organs uh, by they by by secreting certain chemicals. Okay, chemical messengers you can say these chemical messengers are known as hormones. These ductlet glands these secrete some hormones which in turn regulate the activity of the cells and organs of the body of our body. and these uh, hormones are released by these ductless glands into directly into the blood stream without uh, being transported by ducts that's why they are ductless they do not have ducts okay so they are ductless and so their secretions are released directly into the blood stream okay now what are hormones so hormones are chemical messengers which are secreted by these endocrine glands okay or ductless glands you can call that help to control and coordinate various metabolic activities in the body okay now the term what uh, the term endocrine okay this endocrine term has been derived from two greek words one is endo that is within or inside and krin krin means secretions okay so two words two greek words are there endo and krein endo means within or inside and krein means secretions so the endocrine system you can see from the picture that this uh, picture this endocrine system has uh, different types of endocrine glands present in our body okay now we'll come to this endocrine uh, glands okay this endocrine glands i told you they are ductless glands and they as they do not have their own ducts so they release the secretions or hormones you can say which are released directly into the cells or in the tissue spaces adjacent to them which has blood flowing which uh, where the blood is flowing through uh, blood is flowing through okay so these uh, hor these hormones they are uh, directly come in contact by the blood stream okay now the hor uh, to the cells and the tissues the hormones are then carried by the blood or the limb to the target organ now for example the pituitary gland thyroid gland adrenal gland then pancreas and then gonads okay <clears throat> next is the exocrine glands so uh, in our body there are two types of glands present one is endocrine glands which are called ductless glands and the other is the exocrine glands which have ducts okay these exocrine glands these uh, these have special tubes that are known as ducts and they release a secretion those secretions are known as enzymes okay these uh, ducts as these uh, endo exocrine glands they have ducts these these uh, ducts they carry their secretions that is the enzymes to their target organs like salivary glands these exocrine glands examples are salivary glands gastric glands sweat glands these are uh, the uh, examples of these exocrine glands for example see the from the picture you can see this uh, this is the gastric glands picture this is the pancreatic gland picture pancreas has two different functions pancreas behaves as exocrine as also as endocrine i'll uh, discuss later on 
in this chapter only i'll discuss it okay so uh, and uh, another is salivary glands these uh, glands look like these these are exocrine glands okay next we come to the characteristics of the hormones okay i told you the endocrine glands secrete certain secretions uh, certain uh, secretions these are known as chemical messengers and they are known as hormones okay so what are the characteristics of these hormones they are produced in small quantities and they act very fast but they are slower than the nerve impulses the nerve impulses they act they are carried very fast they are act very fast but uh, these hormones are fast but not as fast as the nerve impulses then they act on cells or organs located away from their sources okay they are destroyed soon after their action and thus not stored in the body they coordinate long term processes like sexual development and growth okay next we come to the endocrine or hormonal glands in the humans i the name of these glands which in we will discuss in this chapter it is this is according to your syllabus that is pituitary gland thyroid gland parathyroid gland pancreas adrenal glands and gonads that is testes and ovaries these are the glands these are the endocrine glands we will discuss in this chapter according to your syllabus uh, besides these these are uh, there are two more glands are there that is hypothalamus and pineal gland okay so uh, this we will we will discuss in the higher classes next is pituitary gland so first uh, uh, gland endocrine gland which we, we will discuss today is the pituitary gland this is the master gland you can call because it controls the all the other glands of our body all the other endocrine glands of our body okay that's why it is known as master gland so it is a small p shaped gland and this is located at the base of the brain okay see the picture you can see uh, this is the picture of the brain and the gland is located just below at the base of the brain just below the hypothalamus or the mid brain okay so this is the uh, pituitary gland now uh, this i told you this is known as master gland because it controls the functioning of all the endocrine glands it secretes three types of hormones one is growth hormone second is thyroid stimulating hormone and the third one is gonad stimulating hormone three types of hormones are secreted by this pituitary gland okay now uh, pituitary gland first uh, hormone that is secreted that is growth hormone this growth hormone is one of the most important which is uh, hormone which is released by the pituitary now essential for this hormone this growth hormone this is essential for the growth especially of the bones okay and deficiency of this hormone that is deficiency of the growth hormone leads to dwarfism in children in childhood if it uh, if the there is deficiency of this growth hormone that leads to dwarfism okay and over secretion during growth period when a child is growing when uh, a person is growing in that uh, in during that time if their growth hormone is over secreted then that leads to gigantism that is very tall giant sized body it leads to okay next is thyroid stimulating hormone this thyroid stimulating hormone this stimulates the thyroid gland to secrete the hormones to secrete the uh hormones of the thyroid gland okay and then gonad stimulating hormone also regulates the activities of the testes and the ovary gonads i told you testes and ovary are known as gonads so uh, uh this uh, the activities of the testes and ovary are regulated by the gonad stimulating hormone okay <laughs> next we come to the thyroid gland the second uh, endocrine gland that is thyroid gland okay 
this is a large endocrine gland and this is found in the neck region just in front of the windpipe okay so this is the trachea this is the trachea and the in front of the trachea this is the thyroid gland this brown color is the thyroid gland okay and the white portion uh, pipe like portion that is the trachea and above the above portion of the trachea is the larynx or the voice box and this uh, brown portion covering the trachea is known as the thyroid gland okay so this is found in the neck region just in front of the windpipe that is the trachea and has two lateral lobes it has two lateral lobes on each side of the trachea this is joined by this uh, is the two lobes are joined by a isthmus mass of tissue known as isthmus narrow mass of tissue known as isthmus and that this uh, th thyroid gland is a rich supply of blood and so they can deliver a large amount of hormone in a short period of time if needed okay now this thyroid gland secretes two types of hormones that is thyroxin and calcitonin two hormones that are released by thyroid gland thyroxin and calcitonin pituitary gland have secreted secretes three types of hormone i told you one is uh, this growth hormone, thyroid stimulating hormone and gonad stimulating hormone. Thyroid gland secretes two hormones, thyroxin and calcitonin. Next we come to the thyroxin hormone, the first hormone which is secreted by thyroid gland. This controls the speed of the uh, cellular metabolism, especially the rate at which the oxygen is consumed and the energy is produced. Okay, that is the speed of the cellular metabolism, especially the rate of oxygen, how, it, how much it is consumed and how much energy is produced. This is regulated by the uh, thyroxin. It also regulates the body temperature of producing by producing energy. It also affects growth and development and iodine is necessary for the production of thyroxin. And if there is a deficiency of iodine, then that le can lead to low thyroxin level in the blood. Okay, and that low thyroxine level or under secretion of thyroxine may produce, uh, the, is a condition which is known as hypothyroidism, where a person feels sleepy, sluggish and inactive, weight is, weight is gained and that leads to the swelling of the thyroid gland that may lead to goiter. And when there is over secretion of the thyro thyroxine, that may lead to hyperthyroidism where the person's rate of cellular respiration is more high rate, loss of weight is there, heartbeat is faster, person, person feels restless. And in children, when there is under secretion of thyroid, uh, thyroxine hormone, that may lead to cretinism, which, is, which uh, leads to delay in the growth and intellectual development. Okay, so uh, this is about thyroxine. I stop here. I'll continue with the rest of the uh, chapter in my next video. Please go through this. If you have any doubt, please do write in the uh, comment box and you can also access, my, I mean, you can also write in the uh, email ID, in my email ID and you can also give suggestions to improve my video so that it can help you uh, more and uh, if you like the video, press the like button so that I can uh, get some more enthusiasm. Uh, enthusiasm to produce you some more uh, interesting videos for you and if you are a new viewer to my channel or not subscribed yet please do subscribe to, to get the notification of my next video thank you